Hello, beautiful people. I loved the starling. Um, I especially loved, we only get like one scene of uh, Lily and Jack pre, you know, tragedy. And yet we are rooting for them the whole time to get back to that one scene. Uh, Melissa, can you talk about building that dynamic with Chris and making it feel like a lived in marriage? I think it's easy with Chris. He's um, he's just a wonderful guy and he's an exceptional actor. And I think we have history, which I think is a bonus that this is our third thing together. And I think there's just an ease when someone is really, really open. It's it's the it's the greatest gift you can have as an actor is it's less about what you're doing and what your partner is doing. And so it's easy to have those moments of levity that, you know, the film delightfully has. I mean, there's, there's, I don't think you can really show that such pathos unless you have, you can't have the dark without the light, I think, when you're telling stories. And it's really easy to kind of do that with Chris because he is really fun and he is really funny. And then on, on for moments that are really, really trying, he's also incredibly empathetic and you know that he's there for you in, in character and and as the man he is himself. So it makes all of that. And so is Ted Melfi. It also helps when your director is really in it with you. So I was, I was fortunate many in many different ways. Oh, I love that. Speaking of that empathy, Chris, um, Jack really goes through like an internal journey, right? Trying to reach with one from one emotional state to another. What was it like for you to explore um, just like that kind of like living in this almost like depression? You know, you know, frankly, difficult enough, like hard enough to kind of get in, get to grips. I, I, I've never experienced terribly bad depression, um, but I've been around a lot of people who have, and it can have. I remember, um, I remember talking in the early days of making the film about how to make the depression not feel like if it was something passive and kind of it because my experience of people who are depressed it does feel like it's a very active um it has a very active effect on people's lives it feels like a, 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 a be, they're being pushed down rather than they're not able to get up it is something so it, and this is somebody like you say who has been dealing with it even before the tragedy and so you try i suppose to bring as much of that into the character as you can and to the, all the character's choices. And even the fact that he has ended up with somebody who is so gloriously positive isn't probably an accident, but speaks something of the hope that he has that he'd be able to get through it. That he is lo at least looking in the right places for solutions. I love that. It, and it is very, very much a hopeful story that really treads the line between like joy and pain I guess you know yeah which is really fascinating to watch and I know that that's partially thanks to Ted like you mentioned Melissa I you know you guys got to work with him before in St. Vincent what's it like to return have this family reunion it's great it's you know it's really hard to tell stories about people it's hard to get them made it's hard to get the money for them People want explosions or perfect people or superheroes. All of those, I'm, by the way, I root for all of them. But I think if we lose our stories about people, we lose our audience being able to see themselves up there. And it's when we tell stories of ourselves and people can relate to them, that we can have this shared experience of that we all have grief, that we all have loss and that we all have joy and that we can all come out on the other side of it. And that, that's the thing that tethers us as humans. It's why I can't remember if Ted, maybe yesterday he was saying, you know, this has started sitting around a campfire. Like we have always told each other stories and there's a reason it's not just entertainment. It's something to connect to its memories, it's shared emotions. And uh, I think doing Ted is exceptional at it. He's bold and delicate and unsentimental all at the same time. And those are really hard things to, to juggle. And he does it beautifully. Definitely. This brought out many emotions in me. So I thank all of you for it. Um, I hope you guys have a great day and I cannot wait for oh, everyone thank you. to watch The Starling.